so let me tell you guys a story when i was in school my teacher taught me about this particular shape which you guys know that it is a parabola with the equation y equals to x square he showed me that if you swap between x and y then the parabola will rotate by 90 degree like shown here it is also very beautiful to see that if i multiply the y by minus 1 then the parabola will be rotated by 180 degree I was a little bit happy to see there are such tricks and I thought that they are actually general tricks. So I was playing around and I see something. Let me show you guys what do I notice. I notice that if I take a straight line which is y equals to x, that is a straight line which go through the origin like this, you know that its equation is y equals to x. So if I swap between these two, nothing changes. So this means my theory does not work for all of this shape. Now if I multiply the y or x by minus 1, then it only rotates by 90 degree in place of 180 degree. So this means that none of the previous assumptions were general. But why? So when I asked my teacher, he said that it only works for the shape which has a beautiful line of symmetry along the y-axis like in this case the purple line. Now what will happen if I want to rotate any random shape by any particular angle? How can I do that? Like this particular shape, I want to rotate it by any particular angle. So in this video, we will understand the idea behind it and in the next video I will show you guys a formula with which you can rotate any random curve by any random angle. So now let's discuss how to find the equation using the parabola as an example. So I want to find the equation of this particular curve when it is rotated by some angle and the angle is always measured from the positive x-axis. So how can I find it? So the idea is to rotate the whole plane with the curve of our interest with the extra plane on the background like shown here. Now think about it. The yellow parabola is rotated from the frame of reference of the red plane but not from the frame of reference of the yellow plane. That means if I shift my view to the yellow frame's frame of reference then from that point of view, the parabola is not rotated at all. So this means that the equation of this particular curve is exactly the same as before it has rotated. So for this case, suppose it is f of x dash and y dash equals to 0. Now from the red frame's point of view, I can just write down the relation between the x and y of the red plane with the x and y of the yellow plane. So the equations are supposed like this as shown here. So these equations actually relate the x and y of the yellow plane with the x and y of the red plane. So now I can just substitute the values of x dash and y dash and I can find out the equation of the curve from the frame of reference of the red plane. I hope this is clear and this is all. I can just forget about the curve and I can just find out the equation of any random curve using just this expression. That is the expression between of the x and y between two frames and this is all and this is all we need. So in the next video we will see how to find out this particular relation. So this is all for today. So see you guys next time.